As a preliminary uh, step for teaching your team how to sidestep from their backs, they should understand how to sidestep from the ground. Um, I taught these guys, hi Oliver, how to sidestep when they were about um, eight months old. And it was a series of different commands. When teaching an advanced behavior like that, what you can do is you can take the behavior and break it down um, into different steps. For example, sidestepping, you want them to move their back end and their front end over. So what I did is I taught them a command to move their front end um, over separate from their back end. So when we were just starting, um, it was more of a seesaw motion than anything else. But with practice, uh, it smoothed out into something um, like this. So I'm going to ask him to set over G. And I'll ask him, come over G. Over G. Over. Good. So that was a pretty good side step. And so I'll ask him back over ha. The ha. The ha. Good. Whoa. So that's what the finished product of sidestepping looks like. Um, when I first started teaching them, the command I used for them to set uh, their front end over. Hi. He's proud of himself. He needs praise. Good boy. So training like this definitely gives your animals something to be proud of, and they will let you, let you know when they think they've done a good job, as Oliver just did. Um, whoa. So the command I use for them to set their front end over is, um, Oliver, pay attention, is set over G, set over G, and as you can see, set over G, he's moving his front end um, without moving his hind end. I'm going to have him do it one more time, because he's sort of lost focus, set over G, good. And so you can see he's sort of crooked to his back end now, um, but that's good at first. And so the three commands I use to sidestep, you'll hear me say set G. I enunciate the set. Um, when I ask them to set over, I enunciate the over. And um, when I'm asking them to move their rear ends, I'll say put in for him since he's my nice ear. Whoa. And I um, enunciate, it doesn't sound as similar to the other two, but it's basically the put that um, gets his attention. So at first, I'll see if he can focus on me long enough here. Nah, there's flies there. A little, a little nasty. So first I'll ask him to set over G. Whoa. Then I'll ask him to put in. And he'll make it look pretty smooth since he's done this before. Back up. Good boy. Um, but with a pair of calves you can definitely see the difference in the command. Uh, whoa. Set over G. Set over. Whoa, good boy. So this takes quite a bit of patience. Oh yes, no. it does. Um, this takes, as I said before, every animal learns at a different speed. This probably took me two months um, to teach out of the yolk before I could start to teach it in the yolk. Um, it was sort of a trial and error process for me back then as well. Uh, so some animals might learn faster, some might learn slower. Really, you just have to take it at a pace that they're comfortable with. But teaching them to set over hot it's the same general idea. I'll ask them to set over and then put out, put out. Put out, good. Ask them to set over. Put out. And so as they get used to those commands, he knows what he's doing. You can see he knows his job. Um, whoa. And also when you first teach your animals to sidestep, it's either helpful to have somebody um, up by their heads or have them facing a wall, because their natural instinct is to walk forward, because that direct sideways motion is pretty uncomfortable for them. Just like backing up, it's not a natural gait, and it takes a little while for them to um, learn how to move as such without being kind of clumsy about it. Hi. He's proud of himself. He needs praise. Good boy. So training like this definitely gives your animals something to be proud of, and they will let you know when they think they've done a good job.